bad weather over here and I keep getting kicked out. Oh, Marlene is here. Marlene, you can see me? We were having a bad connection. I tried to get on several times and couldn't. Like so this. I need to hear from someone that they can hear me and see me okay. Hmm. It says connected. Let's see. Y'all are probably wondering what on earth? <laughs> Coffee beans, y'all. Hey, Taylor Brock, can you can you hear me okay and see me okay? Hi, Sherry Tower. Oh, they said all is good. Okay, good. Um, in case we get kicked out, we got some yucky weather today. Um, I was trying several times to get in. Hi, Donna Sat. Oh, Donna said she finally got on. Okay. We finally got on too, so hey. You got me. Okay, good. Okay, so if we happen to get uh, disconnected, I've been trying since 12 o'clock to get us in. So it's what, 12.06 now. So good. I'm glad that everything looks fine. Good. All right. Hey, how y'all doing? Y'all, I'm going to attempt to make something, right? <laughs> I'm going to attempt to make something. I'm going to try to do a shaker tag, but using coffee beans in the tag to be the shakers. Right? So let me get some stuff out. I don't know how this is going to go. But it's, it's definitely mindless, <laughs> and we'll discover as we go. So we'll see what happens here. Bill, do you think I can get it? Do it? Of course. So oh, there you go. He has confidence in me. So how are y'all doing today? Oh, you're welcome. Yes, we have free tags on the site. We have... um. Actually, the ones that are on the site do not have a hole in it. Oh, Tracy. We uh, took, I have an announcement. We took the hole off of the tag. So when you go to the site, you won't see the hole on your tag. It'll make it a lot easier for you. Sabrina got the job, Tracy. Congratulations. She sure did. I saw it yesterday. Congratulations, girl. She, she posted it on Facebook yesterday. That's because I told him. I said, y'all got to hire my girl, okay? That's just all it is to that. You, look, Sabrina, we know it's because of your skills that you got the job. It's because I but told Bill's gonna take else. The, Bill's going to take the credit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, You know what? I've had these coffee beans sitting around. Look, it, these coffee beans have been sitting around just like this, sitting on the shelf. And I was like, now those would make cute shakers. So I know many of you, I don't know why I bought coffee beans. I don't have a grinder. So they went in a jar. Okay. It was probably for some kind of, I don't know. <laughs> ah, yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So we, I'm going to figure it all out. So what I did was I went and printed out a couple of these. So the freebie that's on the site um, on our mindlesscrafting.com website does not have the hole. I thought it would be better to take the hole out. So the one that you'll be getting is not going to have the hole in it, but it'll make it easier for y'all when you're crafting. Look, Tyler, I do not need a coffee grinder, okay? <laughs> okay. Look, you see what Tyler's saying? Yeah, and you'll get, you'll actually get two of these. You'll get one with with the stitching and one without. So I just resized them. I think I went, um, I went crazy on these. Okay, I just kept printing them out and printing them out. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna cut this out cause I'm gonna use it still as a template and I need to use my, I'm gonna use some cardboard here too. Give it a little bit of dimension, some, some packaging, right? And I'm going to decorate it using Tony's face. one of these stamp sets, right? One, I don't know. I might use both. I don't have it all figured out, y'all. And it's okay. You have to make sure <laughs> to not have it all together. Oh, Margie said it's icy where she is. It's not icy here, but it's raining. Like, yesterday it was so nice out. Like, almost like it felt like spring. Today, rainy. 
I don't even know if it's cold out there, but it's rainy. So we've been getting a little bit of everything. Oh my goodness. Deb C said it's icy here too in Fort Worth. They had a hundred car pile up this morning. Where? Oh my goodness. Where? Fort Worth, babe. You know what, Deb C, you know what I don't understand? People see the ice. And they can see people sliding in front of them, but they would keep going fast right up until the time and then put the brakes on. Yeah, but sometimes you can't even slow down enough, especially if you're on a highway. Yeah, but they know from years of experience, Tracy, that this is going to happen. Look, I, I came video. from New York and I'm used to I was used to driving on ice. There is nothing like driving on an icy situation, but I have seen people speeding still. I see, I, okay, back when it was actually getting iced up in Georgia for a, before climate change really took hold, I would see people driving just as recklessly down here in Georgia on the ice. And I wasn't afraid to drive on ice at all. I was afraid to drive with them on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, I'm from Michigan, so I'm accustomed to it. Oh, excuse us, okay? Exactly, damn Excuse season. us. Hmm. That's probably right, Deb. They don't get ice all the time. They, yeah, the they're forget. just not yeah experienced like that. Yes, Sherry. Okay, I am John. very used to it. Hmm. Bill don't slow down, no, period. He just keep driving. <laughs> okay, I'm just be real. Tyler says y'all. he goes fast on ice in the hope that he'll wreck his old beat-up truck. Hmm. Just kidding. No, you're not. You mean it. You meant that. Tyler. Tyler, Tyler. I don't know how I'm going to pull this off, y'all, but hey, I'm going to use this as a template. I need something that's going to be coffee bean like. What? Coffee bean colors, y'all. What, what should I eat? What should I use for my coffee bean colors? What do y'all think? Browns. Brown would be too, since the coffee beans are already brown. Yeah. Let's see if I can find some. I'm looking for some scraps, y'all. Paper that I already have. There's a scrap. Let's see if I can find anything else. Craft colored cardstock. Tan, brown, beige. Uh, someone said red would be cute, too. Huh. Y'all gonna have me pulling out all kind of stuff, okay? <laughs> Goodness, 11 inches of snow in Taylor, Michigan, but bright and sunny. I love, look, I love the way, is that Lana? Lana is looking on the bright side, okay? Uh, beige. I do have a beige paper here. Let's see. That's kind of a beige color. Huh. <laughs> Bill, whose side are you on, Tyler said? <laughs> ah. Ele oh, 11 degrees. Not 11 inches of snow. 11 degrees. Woo. Yeah, it was close to, it seemed like it was close to 80 yesterday. I like in that color too. Okay, I got a decisions, y'all. This just <laughs> too many decisions here. Let's see. Okay, so I could use this as my template, huh? You can always grind up the coffee beans and make a cup of coffee while you reach a decision. Hmm. Bill, that means I would have to get a grinder. In that case. That's what Tyler was saying, Bill. Tyler said I need a grinder. Tyler said it. Okay, y'all. Um, I don't have this all figured out, so I'm just good, but I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm good. Oops, I'm gonna need two of these. Look at me messing up already. Look, that's, I'm using this as my template though. That's okay. If you have eight and a half by eleven paper, you could put this in your copier. 
and do some that's what i did with these right here look at this one this is one i did using the sequins haven't decorated it yet but i wanted to do something that was like coffee inspired kind of thing thank you donna Saturday. donna just look posted the link to coffee makes me happy to that stamp set in case y'all wanted to check it out I'm over here with a dirty eraser all my erasers are old. Bertha says, okay, can someone matter. tell me how I can decorate my wood nails from the dollar store? Mm. How much time do you have? I would go on Pinterest. They have wood nails at the dollar store? Oh, boy. <laughs> Is it Dollar Tree? Let's see what we got to do with this. Hey, Bertha, since you're a blinger, color the wooden base the color that you like and uh, find some sequins or something of varying, varying sizes and create decorative patterns on them using the sequins. Put larger items sporadically in different places and create images around them. Hey, Brian Dickey is on here, I see. Hi, Brian. Okay, so let me see. Okay, here's another thing you can do if you want to. You could actually layer, layer these and cut them out, right? So that could make my tag too. But I want to do it with color, so I'm just doing it a somewhat fancy schmancy way, right? <laughs> So that's one of the other things you can do with your digital. But I figured a tag would be good for y'all, a freebie, so that you can go and make, because we love making tags, right? Yes. Yes, we do. You do, definitely. There's a lot of people on here that love making tags. Tags are like little pieces of artwork. Deb C says, I got two drinks at Starbucks yesterday, so I wouldn't have to go out today. Did you save one for the day? Did you drink both of them yesterday? Mm. Now you have to go out and get two more. I think this is going to be my base. I think. We'll see. We shall see. Judy R. and, Sher and uh, Sherry Tower are tired of the cold weather. Mm. Are you talking about the kind of cold where it's so cold that when you breathe, your nostrils stick to your face type cold? That kind of cold? I think that's what they're talking about. That's crazy cold. Okay, so y'all don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. Because I want to evenly cut this out, right? I want to cut right around here. Y'all see that? And then I want to cut here. And that just gives me an inner part. Oh, I already messed it up, y'all. So now I'm going to have to go get another one. Let me show y'all what I was trying to do. Let me show y'all what I was trying to do. What, what I had wanted to do. <laughs> What I had wanted to do, look, I'm not afraid to show my, that part, okay? So look how straight that would have been too. That's okay though. Okay, so I'm going to have to use this one right here. Not exactly the same, but it's okay. Don't get the crafting police after me. Y'all probably like, no, Tracy, don't. I could hear y'all screaming, but I didn't listen. I didn't listen. Okay. It's not sharp at all. Stephanie Moore is giving a good uh, suggestion to Bertha about the owls. She says use those furniture markers they have in the auto section to color stain the dowels. Then you can use the dowels to create a birdhouse and lantern. You said dowels? Yes. Oh, I thought you said owls. Well, earlier, Bertha Bless Wilson said, Owls. Said, let me go back. 
And someone tell me how I can decorate my wooden house from the dollar store. Oh, okay. So now people are coming up with different things. That's why I love our group. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so tomorrow, Bill, you want to tell them about tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. At 1 o'clock. At 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm coming on live. live. I'm going to be broadcasting just my screen. I may put my face on there just in case. For those of you that can stand it. But <laughs> but basically, I'm coming on. I'm going to be giving a live presentation on using digital images. I'm going to keep it as simple as pie. I'm only going to use one construct to make sure that y'all got it. All of them are pretty much the same, but the one I'm going to be using is a free one. Y'all can download, and uh, you'll see what I'm saying. We're going to go right from scratch. I'm leaving no stone unturned. I'm assuming that, that you know absolutely nothing. And by the time we finish, it's my hope that you'll be relatively fluent uh, using dim digital imagery. We hope. There you go. See? So I cut, cut out that center piece there. All right? So that's going to be our center. Okay. So then I went, I wanted to test out some, um, it says window plastic. I went and looked on Amazon for acetate. Y'all, this works great. Okay. So I got this Judykins, never heard of it. Judykins, uh, embossable window plastic which is still acetate and I went ahead and got some of these this is 20 sheets actually found these on Amazon because I wanted to try them out before I recommended them you, you know okay and they come with this little sheet in there to keep them separate so it doesn't you don't have to stress yourself trying to separate them okay so that's what that's what I did okay so let's see so I'm going to line this up a little bit. As many of y'all were asking me last time, where do you get acetate from? So if you don't have packaging, they actually sell acetate. You learn something new. At least I am. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to cut this. Look how easy this is to cut. It's the perfect... It's not too firm and it's not too light. So it's, it's so you great. Like it? Yeah, I like it. I give it a thumbs up. Well, there you go. <laughs> you should make a stamp that's a crafting police. <laughs> that's actually a good one. That's a good one. Let me write that one down. The bill is right. <laughs> because they can be a real pain in the crafting police. I think I get, I get citations from the crafting police almost every day. For real, y'all. <laughs> it's okay. The beauty of social media. Okay, so I'm going to do That's this here. The Nessa says, what about a dream catcher stamp? That's a nice one. We did. I remember doing crafting dream catchers with the kids at the library. There you go. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue around that edge there. All right. Because I need that to dry a little bit. And you just want to keep your acetate nice and clean. Nice and acetated. Bill, stop. <laughs> Uh, don't start, darling. Crafting police. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? And keep it clean, Did Bill. You hear him? Keep it clean, darling. Wire hangers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, y'all. Okay, so you got that ready for there, okay? So while that's, while that's drying, now you can either decide to stamp something in here. We're going to have to double up on the tape because this is pretty thick, right? So these little beans, look at them. 
Okay, she little can't coffee wait to do beans. Those beans can't I you? could not wait to do this. She'll do anything to put a bean into a Well, craft, I wanted okay? to know what could do with shake. What what can shake besides <laughs> sequins, you know? So how many of you all start a craft like that? You look at this something like beans. And say, you know what? I'm going to do some with these beans. I don't know what I'm going to do. Ooh, I got to do some with these beans. Or do you all start with a craft and then say, I need something to get in this spot. And you have to think, what about beans? Yep. What y'all say about this? Can anyone see my messages? Yes, Linda, we can see your message. I have transparency film left. She has transparency film that she uses. Vanessa Angelos says, I'm going to crafting jail without bail. You know what? I need to double up on that uh, tag. Someone said, did you, Tracy, did you double up on the tag? I sure did not. So guess what I'm going to do? Hold on. I'm going to use... Go ahead and I'll tell you with this. I'm okay. going to go ahead and use, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this so I can have, I want a sturdy backing on this since, since this, like this is not, you know, this is just um, paper. I wanted to, this is my practice one. It came pretty, came out pretty good for a practice one, right? Okay, when you get a chance, Linda Huffman said, can you show that plastic window again? Oh, yeah. The window plastic again. Oh, this is, okay, this is what it's called. Judy Ken's Embossable Window Plastic. And I got it on Amazon. Because I wanted to try it out before, you know, recommend. I didn't want to recommend something that I didn't try it out. And I wanted to see that it wasn't too sturdy where it was so hard to cut. So this is pretty easy to cut. Okay. And I'll put the link in the description also. Look at that. I'm just not doing my job. So, yeah, I want this to have a sturdy backing. I could still add it to a card if I want. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that. Down on there. Hi, Marcia Burden. Marcia, don't forget to come on tomorrow at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm doing that uh, presentation on how to use the, uh, digital images. Yeah, he's going to show you the steps I'm how to download. Scratch. So, yeah. Make sure you're there. That should be fun. Hi, Brenda Botwin. Brenda says, what did I miss? How much time do you have? <laughs> Hi, Jean Johnson. I could actually stamp something in that window, huh? Let me, let me just see. I got to see this, y'all. So you just kind of don't be afraid to keep sizing it up and then taking it off. That bean has a hole in it. <laughs> Hi, Paula Kay. Paula Kay says, I'm so happy to catch a live show. Y'all are the best. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Vanessa says, you should put the embossable window plastic in the shop. I have to find it. I have to see who can supply it in, in uh, With the best in, price. large quantities. Yes. For y'all. Right. That's... Believe me, I'm looking. <laughs> okay, so you want to double up on that tape definitely only because um, it's, it would not work if you don't double up. Tracy, Brenda Baldwin's keeping it real. Okay, she's preparing herself. She says it's 1028 here, so I have three hours. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she knows you, Tracy. She knows us, darling. No, she knows you. Oh, Deb Sean, the class tomorrow is at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll try to keep Bill on task, okay? And I'm going to send out, and once I get off of here, I'm going to send out a, a reminder on uh, to your emails, those that have subscribed to the channel at mindofscrafting.com to make sure. Those that signed up for the uh, free digital download right before the live, I sent the link to you all. So y'all should be able to automatic, automatically uh, 
I should have it right now, even as we speak. Yes, Brenda, those are coffee beans. We were contemplating whether we should let Tracy use them in the in the project, or should I beat him with a hammer or something and try to make some coffee? I don't know why. I cannot remember why I bought these, though. It had to be for some kind of craft project. Yes, I'm sure it was. You've done something with coffee beans before. Uh, have I? I, I can't cannot remember. remember. Was, <laughs> <sighs> Bye, Diane Solomon. Diane Solomon has to go. She says, have a wonderful day and stay warm. And you stay warm. Well, Brenda Bodwin was, I think this is Brenda's idea, Brenda. Brenda said. <laughs> who, Brenda who, Bodwin? Yes. She said, can you make a shaker tag, I believe. Brenda Bodwin, you did inspire this. So I said, hey, let me see if I can figure it out. Unbeknownst to you. So that's that's what I'm doing. I'm figuring it out as I go. But but I decided, hey, let me make one with coffee, coffee beans. Okay. So we'll see. So I, I don't like the way that's curling up, but that's okay because it's gonna be it's gonna lay flat, right? So I'm gonna have to put another layer on here. You know, Brenda said, she says if you soak them and put granella fragrance oil on them and then dry them, it would make the shaker smell good. Oh, well, there you go. That's a good idea. Make a scented shaker, huh? Sonny Creel says, I just got a dumb call. Never answered. I'm on live. <laughs> Sonia, I got Bill a call got one this morning this from the, uh, the people who said my social security number had been tampered with or something. Yes, and then he, them. he wanted you to give him your social security number. I answered it. I said, I tried to sound crazy. Hello? He sure did, y'all. How's it going? I was talking like that, right? Anyway, uh, he wanted your social security. He's like, give me your social security number, then I'll tell you who I am. Really? I said, now tell me who you are. And then <laughs> we'll see. I said, give me your social security number you have. And I'll tell you if that's me. How but what that? really bothered me was that he knew your date of birth. Yeah, they can get he that knew kind your of stuff. phone. He knew your. Yeah, he knew like. They can get the basic just by by uh, googling you, but they can't get the pertinent stuff. Yeah, but that's kind of scary. Okay, y'all. So... He hung up on me because I kept asking him who he was. He did hang up on you once you started asking him questions. I said, well, I, who are you he was like, and he was like, "Sir, just give me your social security number so I can make sure such and such." I'm like, "Oh, I, really?" I, I tell you what, so this this strange construct hanging up of uh, VR one two six zero. How about you give me your phone number, your name, and the name of your company? I'm thinking, do people Wait. actually fall for that though, which is kind of scary. Like if I mean if the fact that they're doing it, it's so irritating. But there are a lot of people who who would believe. Oh my God, my social security number is is being changed by somebody. What am I gonna do? Please. When unfortunately, I unfortunately, the, uh, someone is going to give them. Oh yeah. I'm just using a thinner um tape here, y'all. Yes. But I I should have done this. Before I peeled everything off, but it's okay. Exactly, Brenda. That's when they hang up. Brenda says, I asked for their home or cell number, and then they hang up. And that's exactly what they did. Bill said, what company are you? And your phone number. And he said, I need your social security number, and then I'll tell you who I am. I was like, oh, wait a minute. I, and I told him, <laughs> I, said, I said, so you running the, I said, you running the game on me of... I give you fire and you give me wood, or I give you wood and I give you fire. I mean, what, what, are we, what game are we playing here? He got upset. <laughs> like, how dare you accuse him? Yeah, you give me fire and I give you wood. That's the game he's playing. Okay, let's see what y'all are saying here. <laughs> Linda said, fraud department, how can I help you? I love that. That is a good one. They've Linda, been, I want to do that. You know what they've been doing? They've been doing the, uh, the car insurance and the social security is, seems to be the one that we get all the time. I'm going to start going, IRS fraud department, how may I be of assistance? Click. 
Now, if I want, I can stamp something right there or I can color something and put it in there. Hmm. But I, I, I'm going to use the coffee cups. For some reason, I see myself using the little muggy mugs there. I record next time we do it. And just go bananas on them. I already changed my social security He hung number. up so quick, though. Which social security number do you want? They're going to be like, what? Which one? I have four of them. I need more coffee beans. Look at me, y'all. <laughs> There's videos. You know what? There are some videos that are so hilarious. Um, a couple of years ago, I think they were doing, this man was doing some videos and it was so funny how he was playing with these people. Okay, let me make sure I put this right over. Right over. Tyler, Tyler says there are videos of them calling law enforcement people and the officers just tore with them for a while and then identify who they are and the people who call immediately hang up. Sonia Creel said her mom became so frightened that she had to sit down with her and calm her by letting her see, you know, police being called on YouTube. And she ended up laughing. <laughs> That's funny. It's the same thing with the car warranty people. It actually is working. I probably could have put less coffee beans in there, but it, it's working. I like it. I'm over here doing my happy dance, y'all. I'm doing my happy dance. Sometimes you got to cheer your own self on. So let's see what else we got here. What else can we add to this? Let me go ahead and get my little... I could put a donut somewhere on there, right? I could put a donut. We blend so well together. Thanks for perking up my day. Crazy. Linda Huffman is vicious. Let me tell you what she did. <laughs> Linda Huffman. Linda. That's a good one. Linda, Linda, what you do? Linda said one time, I guess she kept getting this repeated call who just, 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 just couldn't take no for an answer after she had just got an oral surgery. I guess she got fed up with it. So she said, I got out my school whistle and blew it right into the phone. Ooh. No more calls <laughs> to that person. He is now deaf. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, Linda. Linda. <laughs> Linda was like, I am tired of this. We had to put a um we had to put something on my mother's phone. Remember, she kept getting so many calls to the point where it was like every minute of the day, people asking for um I think it was donations to different different organizations and it was just too much. We actually ended up changing her phone number. Exactly. And my mother had had her phone number for a while. She was like, I'm good. She said, the people that I want to contact me, they, they'll they'll call me. They'll be the only ones that have my number. So Hold on, Mona, Mona Kelly does it. Mona Kelly uses something called Robber Killer. That's It makes a lot of noise. She, man, Mona and, and, uh, <laughs> and Linda Huffman, they playing. Y'all going in, huh? I can't punch you in the face, but I can deafen you. Gwen Watson says, I never thought of using coffee beans for a shaker. I, neither <coughs> have I. Ideas, y'all. Ideas. The Cold and Entourage says, she played the video of you and the shaker card. She replayed it and it came out so cute. Oh, I'm so glad. Like a jar of seasoning. Oh, nice. Thank I've you. seen y'all posting your shaker cards in the group. She was talking about everybody, too. Hi, Joyce. Joyce Sloman says, hi, Tracy and Bill. Thanks hi. for sharing your amazing talent hugs from Ontario, Canada. Well, hugs to you. Man, Stephanie Moore says, my stepfather is a Bill and his daughter is a Tracy. What? I like him already. <laughs> 
I love that wood grain around here, around this. So I'm going to color that maybe like a brownish color to make it look woodsy. <laughs> Is that a word, woodsy? Woodsy. That's amazing. Edith Anderson said since the start of the pandemic, apparently over a billion dollars have been scammed from people. I can, I, I actually can see how that can happen. I, you know, like we keep telling my mother, mom, do not allow these people to scam you because she, she'll answer the phone, have a full out conversation with them. Jen B, Jen B says, what group are you in where I can learn this? Well, you're in a group now. This one thing we have about 900, almost a thousand videos on this channel called Minus Crafting, and there's a Minus Crafting group on Facebook uh, that you can join. Just make sure you answer the three questions on there you can't get in. It's a very good group. Yes, it is. Non-judgmental, a safe haven. Uh, Tracy always talks about comment kindness in the group. You know, very nurturing. Respect and kindness. If a person's not doing that in there, they will be gone. Believe me when I tell you this. Bill, you didn't tell them that we're releasing a stamp. When Bill does the uh, release, tomorrow, I mean, he does the tutorial tomorrow, he's also going to show you a new... The latest release. Yes, a I new digital. that day. He's going to show you the new digital stamps. Uh, let me get a little bit of a darker brown here. Now, this is fun. Y'all going to run and get the um, coffee beans, aren't you? Some of y'all might have coffee beans in your house. Who knows? Thank you, Jen. Jen B says, Bill, you are so supportive. I love this. Well, Jen, my wife cr uh, crafts so religiously. I know the only way I'll be able to see her is if I kind of join in. But I wouldn't stop her anyway. This is what brings her happiness. Well, thank you, dear. I Jim B says, that. what holds the coffee beans? Oh, that's hmm? the shaker card. Oh, these right. You said what holds them? She, Jen just got on. She didn't see the whole process. Oh, yeah, Jen. You would have to watch the beginning. Um, yeah, we're making a shaker tag, bean such and such tag. <laughs> and so if you don't like that little crease there, you could always cover it up, right? You see the crease there that I did to cut it? I just wanted it to be even on both sides. So it came out pretty good, right? Linda's mixed mix, mix up mess is my mom was like that with the phone. I used to yell at her. Now she has an answer machine, so she doesn't talk to the people. Maybe you need that for your mother, Chris. She has the voicemail, but um She still answers it. She still answers the phone. <laughs> mom, don't answer the phone. Okay. Ring. Ring. Hello. Uh <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Mom, I said that to answer. Stop calling. <laughs> I'll call my mother and, and I'll say, hey, Mom, what you doing talking to you? <laughs> you know, like, okay. <laughs> Yvette Daniels is telling Jen, I found this channel trying to learn how to make a bow and started watching Tracy and Bill's videos and I was hooked. Oh, it's amazing. Some of the most bowls that we had on the channel have well over a million views on them. I had, you basket, know, they, it's, it's a lot of views. Who would have known, right? Yeah. Because you make it so understandably easy and yet attractive as an, as an end result. Yeah, easy is good. You you want to get make people feel like they can do it. And so that's what that's my thing is to make people feel like they can do it, and you want to teach them in a kind of somewhat of a nurturing way. Like, I, I just feel like people learn better when you teach them in a kind way, you know? Yep. 
Marcel Burton says, have you gotten any dyes from Dollar Tree? No, I have sure not. I hadn't looked. Do they have some there? Sherry Carl says she hadn't been able to find any in Michigan. Some people say they found some. I Those stamp sets, I was looking for those. Hadn't found those yet. I would have thought that our Dollar Tree would have gotten the stamp sets. Wouldn't you, Bill? I would have thought. Because they are like on it, but they don't have them. Lynn Densley says she gets telemarketers call her all the time, but she blocks their numbers. Yeah, we the put the blocking thing on my mother's phone and it just, people were still able, even with the uh, new number, it's not as bad, but boy, do they find you. Exactly. But here's the number that came up in the thing. Let me show them this real quick. Here's the number. Now, look how they try to hide it. That's <laughs> V21102. <laughs> right. See, if anything like that comes up, you I know like, it just hang of, up. When right? I saw that, I was like, what kind of number is that? When something like that comes up, you know to hang up. You weren't going to answer it. I told you to answer it. Tracy, you got to answer it. Let me see what these people have to say. Linda Huffman says, she found this channel when I fell asleep with the YouTube on and I woke up to y'all talking. What? <laughs> who, in the, who was that in the background talking all that stuff? It was probably me. You know it was him. I know he didn't say. That's probably what happened. Huh, Linda? Linda found herself went laughing as she woke up. She said, why am I laughing? <laughs> And who on earth are these people? The Vet Daniels, you, you must be off today. Yvette's off. Yvette needs to be off. Okay. Little cups here. Okay, what I'm thinking here is, let's see, I'm going to stamp this one out. <laughs> to Penny says, well, waking up to Bill asking if you would slap your mama, then that conversation would be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, am I dreaming or what? what did, <laughs> did somebody just say what I slapped my mama? I think Bill has the husbands listening in. His side of the story. They feel like slapping somebody, mama. Be like, hey, I didn't say that. Mm. Let me see. Uh -huh. Linda says, I got my friends who work watching me. Oh, nice. Hey, friends at work. Wait a minute. Your friends, they, they're not watching at work, right? Because we don't want to say anything about the friends watching at work. You mean they, they you watch the whole staff, after okay? they come do all of their stuff no. and then go home and watch. They don't watch at work. To save themselves on unbelief, unbelievable <laughs> boredom, they get on and watch. Look, that was hilarious on the last live. When, um, through it. Who was at the doctor's office? Was it Sabrina? No, yeah, Sabrina. Sabrina was at the doctor's office. I think Linda Cross was there. You're right, and, and the person sitting next to her said, is that Tracy and Bill? Is that <laughs> <She's>, your voice? <laughs> that is... That is something else. Okay, I've so I'm gonna do a little in the bit craft of store, in, in, uh, what's the name of that store we went to? It wasn't. Uh, we were where at the Hobby Lobby or something. And I said, "What's it?" Oh, fun we thing? were at. Me. Yeah, the, <laughs> that was funny. I would go for one hour, look up. Like, there was a lady. The there was a woman following <laughs> Bill at Hobby Lobby, right? And um, I was already back there. I got out <laughs> and I went. Um, I went right back to this paper section. And so she followed Bill because she was like, I saw y'all. And you used to recognize my voice. And then I wasn't, but I wasn't sure. I saw Bill. She followed us. Until she she saw followed Tracy. Bill. Right. She followed Bill. Right. And once she found us, she, once she saw you meet up with me, she was like, is that Mr. Oh and my God. Is that Mr. and Mrs. Gift Basket Appeal? That was hilarious. And she said it so loud that everyone else was looking around like, 
I don't know who they are. <laughs> like, okay. You know? <laughs> I don't know who they are. But it's still, it just still amazes us when people say that. Sabrina says, thou, her, and Linda are crafty friends. Oh, that's so Isn't sweet. That cool? Why you can meet like that? Huh, oh, huh, Sabrina. My goodness. That is absolutely amazing. How awesome is that? No. I love it. Linda says, did you give autographs? Huh? No, usually what we do is we no, find someone and you know take it's, pictures with them. Yeah, but it, you know what? It's not like us. On purpose. It, it's almost, I don't know how to say it. It's not like a celeb, you know, like, I, we don't feel like. No, I don't. Like uh, any different than who we are. You know, like just, we wake up in the morning, we eat breakfast, you know, we vacuum, the, like just like everyone else. So it doesn't even seem like. Um, but you know what I tell Tracy? It doesn't Tracy, seem like that. You I know? tell Tracy, let's say if you have 100, and, well, we have about 155,000 plus subscribers, right? It The equivalent is like, imagine you're getting ready to say something and you open your front door and you, as you get ready to say it, potentially 155,000 people are outside waiting for you to say it. It's kind of like that. But yeah. they're all over the place. Sabrina says it was amazing. They talk. She and Linda talked oh, about an hour. After oh, my interview. goodness. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Wanda Yagla. How I you love doing? hearing stuff like that. Wanda Yagla says her sister and my sister and I get on Skype and make cards together. She lives in Pennsylvania and her sister lives in Georgia. Oh. It's amazing how the technology media can, can connect. Things. Yes. It, yeah. And a lot of people may criticize social media, rightfully so, right? <laughs> <laughs> However, there's a lot of good. We would not been able to connect with all of you Without. if it wasn't for social media. You know, like I I'm so happy that we can get together that Yvette is on here and Gwen is on here and Sonia Creel is on here. And Wanda is on, all these people are on here. Like, just everyone is on here. And I have to tell, y'all are like family. So it's like, if I make a mistake on a project, my family is not going to throw me under the bus. <laughs> you know? Oh, Sherry Tyra says, I video chat with my mom in Florida and we craft together. She's pretty isolated right now. Isn't oh, that wonderful. How awesome. Oh, Carmina says, I know this group is amazing and wonderful. Love you all. Marjorie, we can't name everyone. <laughs> Marjorie says, you have to name everyone. We've been here forever. Bill and I did not realize the impact that we were having uh, until we went to MadeItCon to teach that class. And so we were, by the time, once we stepped in the hotel, and Actually, all of you these stepped people in the wrong like, hotel. Right, I actually went to, we went to the wrong hotel, actually, yeah. <laughs> and Tracy came out with somebody, I said, wait, what's going on? You're the wrong hotel. You're <laughs> walking out hug, walking yeah. out hug that with somebody. It sure was. I went in the hotel <laughs> to find out if this was where we were staying. And her and Peggy came out hugged up. And Peggy, it was Peggy Lowry. Peggy's she, proper She was pieces. like, because she came up to me, I was going up to the desk, and she was like, Tracy? And I was like, Yeah. She was like, it's Peggy Lowry. I'm taking your class. And I have to tell you, we hugged in that lobby. And then um, I said, Bill is out in the car. So she came out with me because, of course, we was at the wrong hotel. She was staying there, but we weren't. <laughs> and once we got to the hotel, there were even more people there. And so it was just like, I think we were blown away by the impact people like, Oh my goodness, Tracy and Bill. Is or, it okay to take a picture? Is it okay to hug? We're huggers anyway, you know. So it but so that really kind of blew me away. Like I'm just a regular person like everyone else. Like I don't I don't put on airs. I don't say, oh, we're Tracy and Bill. Well, you couldn't talk to something. everyone because everyone didn't come up, but there were so many people from a distance you could see. You yeah. knew they were saying, Is it going? Right. 
you know. And we were just having a good old time, uh, just and hugging, you know me, I'm hugging our people. Anyone look. who listen, <laughs> I couldn't wait for the elevator doors look, to close. Bill, Bill so, hello. The, you and the security guard, um, you and the security guard instantly bonded. <laughs> he me at the front door of the of the. Of the uh, Don't tell on that security. The hotel, and, and by the second day. He wouldn't even go to the hotel. He was just stay by our room. He was in the. He was supposed to be security at the at the <laughs> conference center where we were teaching. Ah. And Bill, he, he was in the class. He was in there guarding our room. I was like, wait a minute, is the security he guard supposed? He, <laughs> I said maybe he's there for his lunch break. Next thing we know, he, he's over there taking pictures with us. <laughs> he was in the craft class, so you'll see Bill. Our whole group in the class, and then you'll see the security guard right there in the picture. Hey, Tracy, Brenda says, Brenda Bible <laughs> says, I'm not a hugger, but I give you a donut. That's love. I tell you what, Aww. pre-COVID, you may not be a hugger, but if you want to escape this hug, you would be running down the street. You sure would. <laughs> no, we were chasing. Come back. Look, we are hugging. My, look, my mom, my sister. Get this hug right there. Um, we're just huggers. <laughs> Huggers. Wanda says a sugar-free donut, Brenda. Look, now y'all gonna make me put this donut on here. With chocolate icing on the top, maybe. We'll see. No, maybe a Actually, chocolate with like some some pink icing on the top. When we hug Brenda Bob, I'm gonna tell you exactly how it would be. Y'all remember that scene in Remember the Titans where the uh it was a a, a a uh, uh, comrade, comradeship. How do you say it? Camaraderie. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it was between a black football player and a white football player, and uh, so the white football player took his black friend home to meet his mom, and his mom was standing there. And you can see through the wicket through the windows. She held up her hand like to shake his hand, and he went. He had his arms wide and grabbed and hugged. Oh, and I remember that scene. And started shaking her body. Her <laughs> arms are straight down. <laughs> That would be Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda? <sighs> like a lifeless come doll. On in, come on in for the hug, okay? <laughs> come on in. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Margie, what did Margie say? I think that's what Margie I miss, system. is just being around, being, being that, you know, with people and stuff. Margie says, one death in the family, another anytime. Margie, prayers. Oh, I saw Margie post that in our um, prayer group on Facebook. She, yeah, this has been rough. A rough week for you, Margie. Here's an interesting question. Allison Thetford says, I'll bet everyone remembers the first tutorial they saw of mine is crafting or give basket appeal. Mine was the mini book tutorial. Then she says, what was yours? The mini book tutorial. Was that, oh, the, was that the one where you showed from scratch the five hearts? I think it was the, is it the making one um, out of an eight and a half by 11 sheet or a 12 by 12 sheet of paper? Or was it the series? Something like that. That wasn't the journal, was it? I'm thinking the journal. Brenda says, well, I give you two a hug. There's not a bunch of people. I'll keep away. Y'all get away from me and Brenda hugging. I'll save you, Brenda. <laughs> we laughed so much in that class, though. We, Linda we, had, a, we had a good time. Linda Huffman says, this is a stay in your jammies crafting kind of day. That's all of them, right? It really now. is. You know, it's just like <laughs> right now, it's just yucky out there. But definitely with the rain. I'm liking the way my tag is coming out, babe. Hold up, Sonia Creel said, I once gave a hug at church and a young lady told me she could hug me all day. I remember it to this day. You know what happened to me? In my first marriage, I went to church and uh, this one guy came and hugged my wife at the time. And he was hugging all kind of, I said, hey, 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 what's going on? And I put my hands up, what's going on? Boy, I was kind of separate, what's going on, what you doing? You know, and I parted him, you know, you got to have a holy hug. The holy hug, you gotta have room in like for another human being to be in between there. This this is a church hug. This ain't no a party hug. You mm. know what I'm saying? Well, there you go. He knew what he was doing. Not the first wife story. Y'all hear that? Okay, not not the, 
Not the first wife story. <laughs> I had to look at her side eye. Did you encounter that? Okay. You know. <laughs> mm. okay, now people are saying, hi, Cynthia Odlin. Sabrina says her first video was the napkins on the bottle. Uh, Wanda says this is the first video that she's watching. Well, welcome, Wanda. Well, welcome, Wanda. Wanda, go ahead and join the channel. It's a zillion of them on here. But more importantly, uh, go to the Minus Crafting group on Facebook and join that. There'll be three questions there. Make sure you answer them or you can't get in. But it's it's a fantastic What kind of uh, crafting Facebook. does she do? Yeah, Wanda, what type of, of crafting do you do? Bill, thanks for... Uh, uh, I'm doing Sammy Jackson again, huh? In that movie. <laughs> He's repeating everything I say, y'all. Okay. <laughs> it was raining outside. It's raining yeah. outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brenda says hers was... the Her first was the gift basket appeal one. Because that's a YouTube recommendation. Yes, we used to be gift basket appeal. Uh, Patricia McNeil says making a gift basket. Zara says the first that she saw was the gift basket one. She still make likes them. And she makes them. I have to tell you, I really have to tell you in all honesty, serious business. If you all seriously want to know how to make a gift basket, unlike anything that you've really seen, the gift basket tutorials on this channel, on Minus Crafting, are second to none. I'm here to tell you, if you watch a, just a few of them, you will never make a gift basket unlike this again. And it kind of frees you not to make it exactly like Tracy made it, but it frees you to make it the way you would make it. You will see a $100 gift basket in Macy's or something like that after this, and you'll just start laughing hysterically, hysterically with tears rolling down your face. Seriously. Aww. Well, I want to make sure that people feel like they can. There's nothing like getting off of a tutorial and be like, I just, I have no clue how to make that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just can't do it. You know, I want you to say at least, you know what? I think I might give this a try. Let me go and watch this again. I think I might give this a try. Because you don't want to make it too difficult to the point where it's like, because I have to be able to explain it real good too. That's the other thing. I, I like to be able to um, make sure that you understand. Here's a good question. Linda Huffman says, why? Why is there always one thumbs down? <laughs> you need a thumb police. Uh, and here's the thing, Linda. Sometimes there's two, Linda. <laughs> I can promise you that one or two people that come in here, they, they've joined just to do this. And if you go to anything they're associated with, associated with, they haven't done one video, contributed one picture of one, any, even, not even one project. They live to do just this. Yeah, it's just, you know, it is what okay. it is. Yeah. Because they're contributing to There's always algorithms. one, two, three, or four. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes more. I don't take it personally, though. You are the kind of person that says something really hurtful and look in your and they look in your eyes, hoping they can see that you that you've been hurt by it. You can't give them that satisfaction. Yeah. It's just the way it is, YouTube. You know. It's kind of like I remember, like like with Dominique Devereaux in Dallas. Which, and she went to the party and she knew the people were being sarcastic when they said to her, hmm, it's such a pleasure <clears throat> to meet you. And she and, and Dominique didn't get upset with them. She just simply replied, I'm Isn't sure it? the pleasure is all yours. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that. I need another donut. <laughs> Since I, I'm not doing donuts, Bill, do you know? Oh, Kenneth is... A Kenneth, then join the. Kenneth is here. Kenneth. What's up, mm. Kenneth? Kenneth is just. 
Kenneth, we starting to wonder, do you work at all? Okay. Uh, I'll answer that. No. He, <laughs> he's like, Bill. Kenneth. Exactly, Brenda. Brenda says, thanks for the thumbs down. YouTube sees it as an interaction. It supports the channel either way. And actually, that is 100% That's true. the interaction. Yes, it is. Not it's that we're encouraging a bunch of thumbs down. <laughs> However... Hey, if you feel inclined. If you that means you're here watching. So hey. I know I had uh someone commented on about 10 videos of all the things that were wrong, like 10 of them. You know? And I'm thinking, so you watching, you watch 10 videos and proceed to tell me what I didn't do right. And these are like videos from like this is recent, videos from like um like years ago. You know, and proceeded to just say everything that was wrong with them. You didn't do this. When you did such and such, you such and such. You ripped the napkin. You tore it. You such a, it was so many different things. And I was thinking, you was blue did, instead you, of red. did you learn something? You started from the bottom <laughs> instead of the top. Stuff that is so I mean, so you like... watched 10 videos. Why do you just this say, seems like it might channel. not be a channel for you. They said, oh, they're doing it too wrong for me to watch. Let me just turn <laughs> the channel off forever. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Amber. Susan Stewart says, I'm stuffing my face at the moment. DFC says, did you say, did I ask you? <laughs> Uh, and I want to respond, but sometimes you have to kind of stay out of the comments. When you get that many, so many negative, um, you know, just so many negative comments, sometimes you don't want to like read them because you don't want to kind of fill your space. Right. You know, like with that, with the negativity. Oftentimes we just, I'll just so Bill does, look, just Bill, say, thanks for watching. That's Bill it. doesn't even. Oh, thanks for watching. Bill, you don't even watch this stuff. Yeah, they, even obviously the gets comments. Okay. Really negative, and they start getting personal, calling names, and uh, they get reported and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and we report ours all the way to the authorities. Okay, so they can come on and get crazy if they want, but believe me. Um, yeah, those. <laughs> but as far as the negative other stuff. I don't delete them for the most part. I simply just say thanks for watching and keep going. I delete some of them because it's just, you know, it's too I'm much, it's too much to keep up with, too. Sometimes the people will say something so ridiculous. We say, let's leave it on. Sometimes y'all go after them. And though. we let y'all get them. <laughs> I'm like, woo, y'all just going in. There's some of y'all on here who do not play, okay? I'm serious. <laughs> and extremely protected. We you know what, that. Anne? I. And so I'm thinking those people have way too much time. I agree with you yes. on their hands to be judging all the time. And so what I do is I just don't, I won't get on uh, social media. Look, I'm on social media. I just take it for what it is. There are a lot of unhappy people out there. Exactly, Kathleen. Kathleen German says everyone has an opinion. However, I tried, I never tried to be negative. And you know what? If someone gives a serious co co comment, I mean, you can say it's a criticism. It's not really that they, they just say, you know what? I think I would have done the, you know, so and so. I don't just say, hey, how dare you? I really listen to it. Say, you know what? Let me evaluate what they just said. Is that something that I? Right. Can do? Someone didn't like the way this sounded on the paper. Yeah, stuff like that. What I'm can like, you do about stuff okay. like that? I mean, it's glue. <laughs> See, that's nonsense. It's okay. Stuff. How do you combat that? You don't, babe. You just keep being you. I just tell them thanks. For These watching. donuts look delicious. And guess what? They're low calorie. Right, DFC. Constructive criticism is different than a complaint. Exactly. I mean, because we get an awful lot of people who 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 will say who will who will comment on how they would have approached it or whatever. I have no problem with that. I've gained a lot of interest. Right, because that, yeah, exactly. Because you learn. all of you are. But are then you get those you. that are just vicious, just mean-spirited people. 
most, just about everybody in here are phenomenal crafters, and everyone in here potentially. I don't like the way crafters. your hands look, your nail color, you know, you're such and such. This is, you know, I'm like, boy, you, <laughs> you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. There's not a single crafter in here, no one, that I can't learn something from. Yeah. No one. Period. Then this is, says, you're making me hungry, Tracy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lynn. Exactly, Wanda. Just be you. You're the Lynn. only you there is. Yep. That's exactly I can only be me. I gotta be me. Y'all remember that song? I gotta be me. <laughs> what more can I be? I forgot the rest. Who What's sang up, that? But who I am. Who sang, was that Frank, I don't know. Frank I don't know Sinatra? I don't know. Jerry Tower. Stacked up donuts. Got a stack of donuts, y'all. Hi, Lisa Norwood. Lisa says, hi, my first time catching you live. Well, hi, Lisa. Where have you and been, Lisa? We've been waiting for you. Welcome. Gwen Watson says, your nails are your business. Don't worry, Gwen. The person that said it is never going to show their hands. They don't ever. like the color. They don't such and such. They probably don't even have Colors hands. are too bright. <laughs> I mean, you just don't know. It's okay. Like my mother used to say, the, the emptiest wagon makes the loudest rattle. Vanessa says, I've got to be me, Sammy Davis Jr. Ah, Sammy Davis Jr. Exactly, Amber. Amber says, the only person I have to please is God. If exactly. If people don't like what I do, then they can move on. Right. They can move on anyway. Because us being able to connect is not by accident. Malaya Ranch says, speaking of nail polish, I got two more gels, burgundy and blue like yours. Tracy. Oh, did you? I am loving this gel polish, y'all. I'm learning Ooh. each time and I'm loving it. This is the second week that I've had this color on. Look how vibrant. Look how um shiny. Bye, so I'm Allison. still learning, but it's, it's coming along. I think Allison forgot to go to her class. Her virtual students, her students are waiting in the virtual class. Oh, my classroom. goodness. Allison! <laughs> it was Bill, and he said... Right. Just blame it on me. <laughs> Just blame it on him. <laughs> Let's see if I need this. Let me see if I need this blue on here. Let's see. Paula K says, Bill, I wanted to tell you that my order came in so quickly. I was very pleased. Oh, nice. We know that they've been having some issues with, um, it seems like the deliveries are slowing down, you know? So I'm glad yours came pretty quick. Oh, uh, Karen, Karen Feta says, I sent an email. I just placed an order. So the email, but okay. left off my apartment number, so hopefully you get the email. Oh, we'll definitely. We'll check it. Yeah, I usually go through emails first before we uh, process anything in case there's anything that y'all need us to do. Tracy, you're so good. So no problem. We will definitely take care of that. DMC says the only nails I don't like are those super long fake nails, but that's their business. I saw a lady, Tracy, she had fingernails so long. It must have been about two feet. We were able to curl it around and stuff. I've seen that. Is that the woman that was in the world book? I don't know. I was wondering how to work and she functioned. I saw a guy whose toenails were like that. Mm. <laughs> you know he couldn't wear shoes. That was out of the question. He obviously couldn't have went nowhere. Okay, y'all. I got to be very careful going around the edge here. Very gently. Gently. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Gently. Linda Huffman said, my first order came quick all the way to Vegas. Just ordered a few more things. Oh, thank you. We appreciate that. Linda, I went to Vegas in the summertime to see Zion Williamson, right? It was so hot that at 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, when I came outside, was that, who 
was that? That wasn't last summer, was it? That was summer before last. Yeah, that seemed like it was, yeah. It that was, was so hot before. at 10 p.m. I, I thought something was wrong. I thought a fan was on outside because we walked out of the, 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 the arena. And it was just heat. It just slapped me in the face. I said, is a fan on? And I kept walking. And it was so thick. It felt like there was an invisible force field around my body that was stopping the real heat from coming. And it was as it was blowing around my body, I could feel the heat, but not all the way. I can't even explain what I'm trying to say. Las you, Vegas it, you're you're trying to say that it was hot. It was, <laughs> it was like hell hot. I was like, Linda, Linda it's time to move, okay? That's what he's trying to tell you. <laughs> Linda, that's what he's ultimately trying to tell you. Well, how does she deal with the heat? Don't go outside. My little tag, I'm really enjoying this, y'all. Can y'all tell I'm enjoying the process here? Pam Burl says, Tracy. Pen in the it's time door. to make the shaker the focal point of a card. Is that not is that a hint? The cutest. Hi, Barbara Lane. Barbara says, "What inspired you, Tracy? Those beans? These beans that were sitting. Well, I've been cleaning up, right? And so as I clean, I've been looking to see what I could use. So these beans have been sitting on the shelf, and I was like, can beans be shakers? And I said, oh, I could use this. Basically, that's how it happened." I started because this was the one that I did, and I was like, I know we can use sequins, right? But what if we use coffee beans? And it worked. It worked. Now, this has that backing on it, too. So, I want to have something sturdy on that because it's, I think it'll still work even if it's not too heavy, actually. But yet, yeah, to me, I needed that backing on there. Not bad at all. So now if I wanted to take one of the beans and glue it on here or something, I can put Remember a bean. Says you could use small buttons too. Small buttons. Someone had, was talking about buttons. Yeah. Now I could glue these. Glue some of these on. So you can have a whole bean thing going on here, y'all. Sonia Krill, she said she thinks she found you when you were gift basket of peels. Sonia Krill, you've been hanging around that long? Sonia Krill, th I'm still thinking Sonia Krill is new. You know, I just feel like Sonia is kind of new. Yeah. But she probably was just quiet. If we can believe that. I I'm just kidding, <laughs> you know I had to get Look, her. You know I, I had to say that. I don't think that Sonia. <laughs> Sonia Krill does not strike me as a quiet type of a person. <laughs> she strikes me as the type of person who... Sonia's like, if and you why is her, that? You best be ready because she is not holding back. Holding I'm up. actually quiet, y'all. Bill is Which the is loud why I like one. Her. Bill is the loud one. I'm <laughs> I'm quiet. Sonia seems like she does not play. If you, you want to play, I'm ready. I'm trying to think what else we could use for shakers. This is cute, though. This came out cute. I like it. I like it, y'all. Paula says, I think using the coffee beans is a brilliant idea. You know what? And the, if you look around your house, you're going to find things that you're like, oh, that'll make a great shaker. You, you could do the That'll bean, make a shaker. The beans on the outside of, is bean stitcher. You know, you got like the line stitchers, but if you separate the beans. You well, know. don't forget, we got this too. If I, you know, ahead of time, I could have stamped that out. And made a little border, right? So that could have been something too. Bertha says, Tracy, can you come on and do some mod spots with a, with a napkin one day on a live? Ooh, live? I've thought about that. You would uh, do that. Here's the thing, it's the drying time. We'd be on here forever. You know what you do? You do like they do on some of those cooking shows. You pre-prepare. You do have to do two of them. You do one in advance that's already dry. And then you demonstrate up to that point, and then you take the one that's had to dry, move it to the side, and take the one that's already dry and continue from there. What he said. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm what saying. What he said. You know, you watch like Good Morning America. I, you know what? I, I, let me go see if I have a bottle. You know? 
and they make something. They say, put it in the oven for two hours. Then it's, well, here's one that's already done. Hmm. Like that. Barbara Lang says she loves, loves that idea for Shaker Days. Thank you. A lot of people usually ask, do you need to spray your bottles with some kind of something after? I usually just put Mod Podge over it to, as a sealant. And so some people usually ask me, do I use, I've never used like, the, uh, what was the other thing that they say you could spray it with? Like some kind of acrylic sealer. Um, so what I do is, let me show you one. Now this bottle's been sitting in my room for a minute, right? This is a Mod Podge uh, bottle I did, right? Using the napkins. Look how fun that looks. It's got wrinkles, right? But it's been in the room for about maybe three years. But look how what a great art piece that makes, right? Just taking this bottle and and that, that stuff, that thing is really sealed on there. There is no moving that. It doesn't like, hasn't changed the color. This is a Dollar Tree napkin, actually. I love that one. Mm -hmm. So I think, um, I think that'll be fun. Do, do a Mod Podge, uh, uh, do a Mod Podge kind of tutorial live. Y'all trying to get me into some mess now. Brother says Pinterest is very helpful too. <laughs> Y'all trying to get me into some mess. But this bottle looks so adorable. Just, I, I love it. It's almost, it, to me, it looks like art. Yeah, so yeah, we could do that. Here's some two good ideals as far as. Bill, uh, write that down for the live. What? Doing a, um, a Mod, Mod Podge, Mod Podge okay. live. Okay, I'm going to write that down. But here you go, two good ideas. One, Barbara Bubber says, fish tank gravel for a beach steam shaker would be great. And here's a really good one I like. Fish tank, you say gravel? A, oh, a yes. Beach steam shaker. The fish tank gravel. Y'all see, see how exciting oh, she Oh, my she goodness. Bill, write down fish tank gravel. Oh, I, I forgot the first one. Hold up. Let me go <laughs> see. I'll write that fish tank. Mod Podge bottle, dear. Gravel. Mod. For Mod Podge. No, that's a shaker, right? Shaker. Huh? <laughs> no, fish tank gravel for Mod Podge. Y'all get What's the other things? A, a Mod Podge. Uh, bottle, babe. Bottle. You'll be happy because I have a lot of bottles downstairs. Bottle. Video. And here's another good one. Um, Where's it at? Huh? Sheila Overstreet says rice would make a cute shaker. I'm thinking, what if you oh, got some rice? My get some rice and you could color it. You could spray paint it or dye dye them different colors. Uh huh. And that would be simulate the gravel, but it's different colored rice. That'll be a, that's a cute one. Put shaker rice and shaker fit a fish tank gravel. I am not using my jasmine rice. For well, shape. Well, get some cheap rice. <laughs> get some twice. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it's called. You know that kind of rice. <laughs> well, look at Mardell. She said, how about some Mexican jumping beans? <laughs> LOL. <sighs> you know the kind of rice that used to like government rice. You just sell the bag of rice. You just got to know that's what it is. It ain't got a brand. Oh, Linda said, I did Mod Podge wooden trays with African textile paper from Amazon. Oh, my goodness. That sounds like that would be absolutely beautiful. Okay, I think we can do that. A Mod Podge. Mod. Okay, so next Tuesday, I'm just thinking about all the weeks ahead. Next Tuesday, we might not be on live next Tuesday. What's happening? My mother's appointment for doctor's oh. appointment. Uh, her doctor is far too, but she needs to go in. That's the eye check up. Mm -mm, this is not the eye. This is oh, that's a real a regular far doctor. Yeah. He moved a long way, and, and Tracy's mom was like, I don't care where he moved. That is my doctor. I ain't letting oh my see goodness. nobody my, else. My mother was depressed. I don't want to see nobody else. I'm like, my God. When her doctor moved. I've been with him 20 years, and that's all I know. I said, okay, well. We know. had to hunt that man down. We he were was like, so mm -hmm. far. Yeah, he's far, but mom, mom. Uh, that's like the only doctor that exists she, for her. Yes, that's who she wanted. All the rest are pretenders, as far as she's concerned. Paula oh. Case says, "I'm. You got me thinking. What I can, what I can use on a shaker." Yep. Okay, so we got rice um, for shaker, right? Let me let me write this down. 
Nice up, Hangley Sindri. Let's see. So for the shaker, shaker, you can use, okay, of course, you can use the sequins, right? Look, we're doing class, y'all. By Vanessa Angel Rose. By Vanessa, you can use the sequins, coffee beans, rice. Um, what else? Someone else said something else. Uh, right the gravel, the, the Oh, the fish, tank, the fish so. tank gravel. You really like that one, huh? I, you know what? Because that gravel, like, now we got to go over to the. Uh, oh, we can get it at Walmart, can't Hold we? Hold up, Pam Bell is serious, Tracy. Gravel. How do you spell gravel? G R A V. Gravel. How do you write it? Gravel. You're the only one that fish has tank gravel. <laughs> Look, I'm right. Small Split beads. GVL. The little small beads. To. Yes, small beads. Hold up. Tracy. Y'all, I'm over here wondering how to spell. You ever get like this? Some days I can't spell cat. Okay. <laughs> you know what? That's when you know you get old. Seriously. C. Uh, hold on. Let me start. <laughs> C. The little tiny. Pam beads. Bell yeah. says she, she has a million moms. She, she drives five hours one way to see her doctor. Uh, my mother's like, uh uh, I got to see this doctor right here. Yep. We found him. Nobody else know nothing. You know what? Wait the, a minute. The Who school burnt down, the high school burnt down after he graduated. He the only one alive now, so. Deb C says Dollar Tree has metallic confetti in the Met party section. You metallic confetti? In the party section. We never go to the party section. Y'all got me trying to spell here. Metallic. Oh, Susan Stewart got a good confetti. one. Confetti. Get ready to write this, Tracy. Garden seeds. Ah, garden tags, spring tags, y'all. Linda, it is quarantine brain. Bath salts. Rock salts, you can get fragrant bath salts. That, that's a good one, too. Hold up, Tracy. Here's a really good one. I'm yeah. just trying to give y'all all the different ideas. Hold up. Uh, ooh, I got well, I got to say Pam, then I'm going to go to Wanda. Pam Perdo says... Look, someone says sand. Oh, yeah. I used to Mod Podge napkins on my deck-type tennis shoes to make floor-printed shoes 30 years ago. What? Yeah, that's different, That Pam. is cool, Okay. Wanda Yagla says sand. Sprinkles for birthday cards. Wanda says you can do sand. I put it down. Sand. You got sand? Yep. Oh, Netwear says dry tiny. rosemary. Oh, my goodness. Tiny seashells. Tiny seashells to go with the sand, right? And dry rosemary. That's a good one there, too. Linda Huffman, you're right. Linda says so many good ideas. I'm just trying to give y'all all the different ideas here that's possible. This, don't forget, the chunky glitter. This is big enough to go in your... Thank you, um, Barbara Cook. If y'all didn't see when we did the other shakers, we could use the um, use Susan, the chunky glitter. Susan says dry flowers. Oh, my goodness. LCB says tiny beads. Pretty beads. We got buttons. tiny beads. Lillian Lamar says sea glass. You know what you could use? Y'all ever see that uh, that pink, those different color sea salt that they have? Sometimes it'd be pink. Sometimes it's like a grayish, bluish. Then the white. What is that? Sea salt. If you ever go to Walmart, they have like a pink. Did we put that down? We didn't put No. How, how little is it? <laughs> Look, y'all not going to have the little micro beads. Network says Epsom salt. What? Y'all gonna put look, I got some Epsom salt in there. Epsom salt is pretty that would make a nice little snowy thing too. The Epsom salt. Trina Christie says like the little green veggie dry pea looking things. Peas. Lisa Norwood said seed beads. Several seed people. Beads. Carmina also says sea glass. Sea yes, Cindy Andrews. That's what I was thinking. Himalayan sea salt is pink. I, you have to have seen Himalayan sea salt, Tracy. Yeah, in the in the health section. Okay, we'll go to the health section. And get some. Okay, Bill. 
don't know much about the health section. We're but definitely gonna be I, in the health section. If you say it's in there, I take your word that it's there. Tapani <laughs> said bird seeds. Bird seeds. Look at y'all are just a wealth of information. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have it in the potato chip section. I don't know much about it. Okay. Um, yes, I, I've seen gray sea salt. You know what, Gene? That's a good one. A masculine shaker using small washers and nuts. <gasps> oh, Ooh, that's a good one. You can, good. you can color them. Too. And I can say, I, I like the one about the nuts. I'm, Gene, absolute, that's a good one. I'm absolutely nuts about you. Bill. Sherry says she thinks, oh, that's a good one. I like how you said that. Nuts. Sherry Power <laughs> says, I think some of the items like salts might get too power powdery. What you do, Sherry, you, you put on the back a, dis a disclaimer or something that says use only when necessary. So if you run out of salt, you just slice open the front of the shaker and you will use the sea salt in there on your food. Oh, there's a gray sea salt? Yes, Various I see colors. It. I've seen, huh. I've seen both of them. Look at y'all with all of these ideas. That wash of nuts one is really different. Oh, Sabrina says, my daughter used tiny peels to make shakers for her co-worker nurse's birthday card. A tiny pill? Peel. She used tiny peels. Then you get stopped by mm. uh, the DEA. <laughs> You're like, it's just the Where did you get these pills? <laughs> you transport them through the mail. I mean, come on. Oh, uh, it, it was a card. Good. Sure it was. 25 Nick, years. Nikki said okay. she did a shaker with a vellum cover last Bye, night. Bye, Paula K. Nice. Paula has to go, Trace. My next one that I want to do, one of the other ones, is to do one with the um, using a uh, tool instead of the... Instead of the... Um, that's different. The MC says, how about small safety pins? Oh. Thank you, Barbara Cook. Barbara says she thought oh, about calling the rice also. Oh, safety pins would be so cute. Wouldn't it be cute for like a baby shaker tag too? Like, I think they have small safety pins. I feel like there's something in Dollar Tree where they have little small... Um, uh, Lillian says you could make your own... Uh, where's that, Lillian? Make your own paper mache balls, Tracy. Stephanie Moore says green chickpeas. Paula Paula Kelly says Skittles or Indian corn. Skittles would be good because you have different colors, Trace. Look, I'm writing all this down. Okay. This is a whole. <laughs> Are y'all writing the list down too? Sunflower seeds. Make a sunflower shaker with those beans. Sonny Chris says a you... sunflower shaker using the beans. Huh. Sonny Chris says spray the sprinkles with hairspray first. Then you, your kids get it and open it up. Please, Sonny Creel. Sonny, like, I'm messing with you. Netting and tool. Yes, netting and tool. I want to see if I can make one uh, using that. I think that Sunflower be seeds. Mini M&Ms, please. <laughs> Y'all, Skittles will be fun. But, Bye, Donna. Uh, Thank you, Donna. Donna has to go. See you, Donna. Sunflower seeds, that's a good one. Oh, Black Eyed Peas. Oh, you know what? The 15 bean. You ever see the 15 bean soup? Pick out you know, some we beans. got some downstairs, don't we? Mm -hmm. We're going to eat that, though. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to open, buy some, another bag of them. Black eyed peas. They're like, what are y'all cooking? See, now we start out with sequins, y'all ending up with food. Okay. <laughs> yes, I haven't decorated oh, this I got one. You, Sonya. Sonya says what it is, don't use things that were melt in high humidity. That's part of why you were talking about spraying on the stuff, huh? Oh, when someone that's, said M&M's. That. That's a good idea, man. And just super glue the thing to get to, to death so a kid can't get in there. Which thing are you talking about? The shakers? Yeah, if you use uh uh where's it at? Let me find it. 
Sonia was talking about if you get sprinkles, you spray the sprinkles with hairspray first. I guess that way they can't melt in high. Oh, the Skittles? Heat. Yeah, stuff like that. Anything that would melt in high humidity. That's what you were saying, right, Sonia? Popcorn Sonia seeds. Creole. That'd be good with popcorn kernels. You can paint those too. Oh, you know what? Anything is possible. If you do spray and put it on the back, do not eat. And that is just what they do too. Kernels, kernels, something like that, right? Hi, Libra Balance. Libra Balance says, oh my God, it just came in. What is this beautiful craft? Shakers. Using... Coffee beans. Okay, so I, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one off. Might as well, right? Paula Kelly says, what you do, put an emergency flap on the shaker card so you can eat the Skittles before they melt. <laughs> if kids find them, you know how kids are. You can put them in a safe. If they know they're in there, they're going to get in there Who said, somehow. Who said, who said bugs? <laughs> I'm sure that there's all these little tiny miniature things that you can add to. Ooh, this is a good one. If y'all can think of it. Get look what Wanda Yagla said. She says, I use tiny dog biscuits and made cards for the vets in groomer's office. Oh my goodness. That's a good one. Oh, Trina Christie says, for a baby shower, you can use pacifier shaped sweet tarts. Really? Do they have sweet tarts? Like they, they have pacifier shaped sweet tarts for little baby shakers. Ooh. Oh, Sonia. Sonia says she did something. Hold on. Y'all see what I'm doing? I'm using every smidgen of paper. <laughs> so, Sonia, what happened? You you made a craft and put something in it and mice came to them? Mm. Yeah, we had to spray that then. Yeah, we better do, spray. soak them, spray them, all kind of stuff. That's spray the thing. what? Anything to keep mice out of them. Oh, we got a cat, okay. Our cat, nothing's getting past our cat. He ain't lying. He found one of those, uh, what do you call them things? Lizard things. Salamander thing. He act like he was at, at the dinner table, okay? Y'all see how I'm using every smidgen of paper? Y'all see this? <laughs> Libra Balance says, okay, uh, is it bad that I watch your channel day and night? Oh, it sure oh. isn't. I'm just so, I appreciate you watching our channel. Ooh, yeah, I see what y'all saying. The candies that can melt the humidity, ants and mice are moving to eat anything edible. I nice. see, Sonia. Yeah, in that case, we better spray them babies, okay? Yes, yeah, Lord. What do they you spraying it with? The acrylic spray? I think Sonia said spray them with uh, hairspray. Is that right, Sonia? Y'all just be using hairspray for almost everything. Uh-uh. Sherry Tower. Sherry says nothing gets past Tracy and Bill's cat except the dog. The dog don't get past. Mm -mm. Bleeding when I tell you this. The cat knows when the dog wants to come up the stairs and will go up to the top and just wait and get it on the banister. Oh, and, and hang the head and arms over. Is it to say, I dare you? Yeah, Gooby has his space, so she can't <laughs> she can't come in that space. But once he comes out of that space, if he gets anywhere near up to the top stairs, she would jump down like in Bruce Lee. And <laughs> she would hit him five Bruce or six Lee times before I could get there. And then she'll run under the bed, but satisfied that she got it. <sighs> that cat. Y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do with that cat. If he wants to go down and she hides around the corner, he, he's scared to death. He don't know. He can't go right or left because he don't know where she is. And the cat, the dog will not come upstairs with me. He comes with me because he He'll come with Bill. Cat. Bill has to walk him up the stairs. And then it's like a whole routine, y'all. Because he knows I'll get the cat. Y'all would just be be laughing if we could just if y'all could get a peek inside like when we're off camera because that dog poor Gooby oh, that's interesting 
Wanda was she was put a slider door on the shaker cards that are edible. That a way, they, slider door. Oh right, so you make a shaker, and anything if it's edible. I see, babe. I I know, but I'm I'm thinking of the how. Okay, with the slider door. Wanda, how? Wanda say, you just put it on. Okay, she says, Wanda says, there are videos on YouTube showing how to make a door on the shaker cards. A sliding door shaker. Bye, Lillian yeah. Lamar. Lillian has a ghost race. See you, Lillian. Thanks for coming. I think, Lillian, this is your first time, huh? Lillian, don't ask you no questions. I'm trying to leave. <laughs> now, answer my question. Just kidding, Lillian. <laughs> Lillian. Don't listen to him, Lillian. Lillian. Every time I think about this, I think about that the shake song. Gotta shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Bye, Sherry Tower. The hit woman. Sherry Tower is the hit woman, the corporate hit woman. That's what they mean, Sherry. So don't nobody ask me what that means. That's only for me and Sherry Tower to know. Well, now everybody knows, okay. <laughs> but they're not going to know why, though. You know. Hi, Sherry. I'm all out of camera gluing up stuff. I'm just going to put this on here, y'all, and, and make something else at the bottom, and then we're done. Trina Christie says, Tracy, they should have the baby shower sweet tarts at Michael's. Oh, at Michael's. I haven't been to Michael's in, like, we just been kind of staying, um... Shelly. I don't think we've been to Michael since the Mr. Potato Head um, it's been a lot, a while. incident. We went live. Was it Michael's? Or it was funny. Michael's. I think it was yeah. Michael's. That was, if y'all have ever seen any live, the one that we did at Michael's during the holiday, it was right like Christmas season. That was hilarious. I could not catch my breath. I thought I was going to pass out because Bill had me cracking up. That's because the stuff is spontaneous. You know, you know how that is. I couldn't even. <laughs> you laughed so hard, we couldn't even talk. We couldn't either. That or when we lost my mother in, the, in the um, I don't know which one was funnier: losing my mother at Ollie's or. That was the over time we was at at at. Uh, Tracy. Been Hold on! Remember the Ollie's. time we were at uh, Dollar Tree. And we were in the dog the section. Dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That might have been Ooh, one of the that was so I couldn't. That there was a couple out. of them where we just couldn't. Trina says she's in Cali. We have Party City. You can also get the baby shower and wedding tarts from there. I was thinking Party City. Couple of mentions get ready to get thrown out the house. She says, okay, it's time to shut my husband's news off so I can, because she can't hear me. <laughs> I'll tell your husband's gonna get both of us. Your husband's gonna come. I don't care. He's you gonna can't be hear like, no what? Bill? what? You can't hear Tracy and Bill. You gotta make a decision. I'm over here me watching my stuff. Bill, then he's standing outside. Uh, I'm right there with you, though. Hey, I'm right there with Open. you. Okay, let me color these donuts in real quick. Pam Perla says. Her mind has exploded with shaker card tag ideals. I'm oh, glad. Lisa Norwood. There's our list too, right there. Says, what ink is that? I will give you the link. That is our minus crafting so intense black hybrid ink that's equally effective for both water-based ink as well as alcohol. It's absolutely like the double whammy. I'm going to give you the link. There it is. I'm going to give you the link to the... Well, she might be wondering what ink this is. What am I coloring with? Oh, my fault. Well, I'll give you both. <laughs> How about that? I don't want that. I want to use something more vibrant here. Just in case. I want to make sure... I need to all color bases. those in chocolate. That, the chocolate to me. And there you go. 
It's the little crafts that make me happy. I just got to do the little itty bitty crafts. How about some chocolate frosting on here? Okay, I just put the link to the 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 minus crafting intense black hybrid ink. There's also a, ref a refiller that's available for that also. But let me. Yeah, y'all have really scooped up those refills. Lisa, is that what you were talking about? The minor scrapping ink? Or are you talking about the uh, the uh, pen that Tracy's using right there? It's in a Daxi alcohol marker, that one. No, she's talking about the pad, Tracy. I just oh, okay. Put the link. Well, there you go. We have those in there. Lisa. That ink is, Tracy tested it so thoroughly for several months before we actually had the, had the uh, manufacturer, we gave them the go-ahead to produce it. And she was so satisfied. I was really happy with it. Yeah. Because I'm trying to mindless craft, so I don't want to have to think about the ink, what ink to use with what. <laughs> Yeah, you get a lot of that. What well, should I use this with the with the alcohol pens, or should I use this ink with the water base? Or let's just cut to the chase. So tomorrow, don't forget, y'all. Bill is going to be on at one o'clock. Look, he Bill, I'll time. be there too. But Bill is going to be teaching y'all, and y'all can ask him questions about how to do download. Those digital images. Um, so that you can find them. Right. How to download them so you can find them. That's the question right there. Right. Because many of y'all may be ha apprehensive about buying the digitals because you just don't, you're just not sure. So hopefully this will give you more insight um, and just kind of educate you on how the how. So we'll be on again tomorrow and we'll be releasing a new stamp set. So Bill's going to show you how to, he's going to teach y'all. Kenneth says, woo, back from our meetings. Glad y'all still on. Kenneth, you know how we do. Kenneth, we getting ready to get off of here. Okay. It, ain't even been, it hasn't even been two hours, I don't think. Well, we about to get off. Okay. Barbara Lang says, all this is exciting. I can finally learn how to do the digital because I want to make sure. Yeah, so and y'all will be, so it'll be more of a, uh, you know, like, we want to hear the questions and, and hopefully we can answer them. Um, but that'll be a time to come on. It's, you know, it's more so, you know, just teaching. I'm just, I'll just be there in the background for, for support. Okay. <laughs> and to add my little two cent, if it's needed. Feels exactly. like I don't, feels like I don't need your two cent. Uh, you don't think I'm gonna say something? Look, he to ain't that. saying nothing. Look, you I turned around here. Enough. He was just trying to give me the answers to, to, to step into that landmine. Oh, oh my Please. goodness! Why does this donut make me hungry? This one right here, y'all. This donut right here just made me hungry. Tracy, do not look at it. That's because we cut down on the sugars, y'all. We've been doing. We cut down on everything. We've been doing. Period. Good. Lynn Denson says, my ink pad and refiller should be coming soon at Sydney Airport yesterday, so I should get it during the week sometime. Oh, nice. Yay! Tess Holden says, is that the new stamp set? No. That's a Taz, this is the uh, this is an older stamp set. This is the uh, coffee makes me happy and coffee and donuts. Right. Digital. Huh. Right? No, it's not digital. Oh, no, that's from the photo polymer. No, huh? no. This is a photo. These are photopolymer sets. See, Bill can't keep up. These right here. This right here, though, the tag itself is a digital. Oh, I got stuff sticking. No, here. Lisa, no. Uh, this right here. That class is not at twelve. It's going to be at one o'clock p.m. Eastern. Uh, Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. That makes me hungry. I'm going to put this one. I'm going to put this one up here. Because I think it just looks Kenneth good. is saying he does not craft, but he's definitely interested in learning. Oh, that's so sweet. The more you watch, it's going to come. You're going to find yourself. What am I doing? 
Kenneth can probably make a card by now with all the stuff he's been tuning in to. He actually could. You've seen enough, believe me, not believe it. There was someone, Denise Glisson sent, sent a card one time. She had, she took the paper. She didn't even use scissors. She just tore with her hands different strips or different things that she wanted. She sure did. And she put it on the card. It looks so cute. Glued it on. It, it, it was so phenomenal. And it kind of removed the element of, but I don't have scissors. She just went with that. All I have is paper, a paper base and some, some, some paper scraps and some glue. What can I do? I was so, I was floored actually. I gotta let that dry for a little bit. Let me get my stitching on here. Um, I'm thinking white stitching. Barbara is 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 Link is talking about how her, her kid wants her old phone and she hasn't downloaded a particular software on her new phone. Barbara, just give the new phone to your kid. And he believed the me. new phone. Hold up, he'll download it so for you. fast, right? So he can get so he can get the old phone. <laughs> he ain't gonna wait days. He'll get the, that. That's an instantaneous solution. You want it on there, and the kid wants a, that old phone. Let the new phone be in the kid, new the, the kid's hands for all of five minutes. That's all it's gonna take. Stephanie Moore said to Kenneth, you have all that lovely boxing at Best Buy for crafting. <laughs> His whole house would look like a hoarder. You got all that you know, boxes. look. And hell, here I am thinking like, yeah, Best Buy has, they have boxes. Kenneth. Kenneth, Tracy likes oh, says, Kenneth. like boxes so much. She's hurried up. I, we bought these plastic things to put cereal, cereal in. I think she bought them just so she could pour them out so she could get to the boxes quicker. No, it just keeps the cereal fresh, darling. Well, some of the box, the stuff that come no, in. those y'all know what I'm talking about. Those plastic um But I use the boxy cooper, the things. things. Those plastic boxy things. This is gonna be so adorable on a card. Y'all. Kenneth says, I've been telling y'all to let, let me know what y'all need. Don't tell them, Kenneth. Kenneth don't, don't tell, tell them. Don't tell them we need boxes. Don't ask them. They will get those boxes from you, buddy. You see a whole bunch of women marching over to us. Uh... <laughs> they be looking like the walking dead outside we'll house. marching right yeah, over. boxes. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are funny. I'll put my crafty apron on and march right over there. <laughs> Barbara Lake says, Tracy, quick question. What do you use on shakers to make it rise, to raise it? Pop tape? Oh, oh she, she must have not. I use this. Or, or the other This one. is actually a Dollar Tree. And the other slightly wider one, too, Trace. I haven't used that one yet. But this one, they come in like a, there's three in a pack, you know. Small, medium, large. But I use this. This skinny one really works. I think I just use this one right here. Hi, Britt. So it depends on how much you leave. So like for this one right here, I layered it by... I, I layered the... Um, I actually ended up dragging and dropping this dragging it over and I layered it and then I cut out the middle for the shaker to get that outside part. And then I layered it on top of another one that's see, but Bill is going to show you how to do that tomorrow. How you take something and you layer it. You know, you can layer images with the digitals. You know, you could do Fruit Loops too. Fruit Loops what? Inside the curve. Inside the shaker. I am not putting no fruit loops. <laughs> Captain Crunch with the colors. What's it called? The Captain Crunch color crunch. 
Mm. Mm. Well, you know what? I'm about to put some. Uh, Color cap and crunch. But will it last though? Would it like crumble up? Denise Glisson, I was just talking about you. Denise Glisson, how you doing? She's at work. Denise Glisson, I was telling them about that card you sent me. Where you remember the one where you just tore it and you use the strips without without using scissors. And I was just telling them how impressed I was. It was just so incredible. And it just kind of removed the thought. If only I had scissors, please. You did an awesome job on that. Oh, you know what? I'm just, putting, I'm just putting glaze on these now. I don't know if you can do it on your phone. I have to look into that. Do what? She's asking what program or app should I have downloaded on my phone for digitals? Oh, I don't know. Well, I, don't know. I, would, I would look it up. Oh, let me look that up because I I know that you can also manipulate digital images using Google Docs, and there is a video in the playlist that talks about it. In which case, you can pull up Google Docs on your phone and do it there. But I'm going to check. Let me write that down. Look up. I want to say what I want to do is kind of stick to one app. It's going to be LibreOffice. And I'm going to, if y'all haven't downloaded it, I'm going to show y'all where it's at, how to download, how to pick the download, et cetera, et cetera. Right down the line. Just add a little sparkle stuff to it. And yes, let's sir. see. I'm going to put a little bit of glaze, uh, glossy accent on the donut. Let me try it out first before I do that, right? Kenneth is telling Stephanie more to reach. Kenneth, put your uh, put your email in here for her. Whatever email that you you know that's the Kenneth. You oh, well, Kenneth he has, said, what did Kenneth say? He's telling Stephanie more to reach out to him, and I help as much as I can. Okay. Uh, yeah, but. If not your personal one. How do we reach out? Yeah, how, what, what email what's would the you best feel way to, Yeah, what's the best way to reach out? Yeah. He, he does have a work one also. One that he does. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so cute. I'm putting some Bye, Lynn. glossy accents right on here. Just adding something else to it. You don't have to do all of this, but I thought it would be cute to just add a little bit of glossiness. Now, this is going to need to dry somewhere, too. I love glossy accents. You can make a bunch of these and then add them to your cards. Right? I'm going to do this right here. Lisa, listen, says she thinks this turned out good. It, you know, I didn't have it figured out. I, I was thinking about it with the, the beans. And then I thought, hey. So see, that was Brenda Bodwin started the whole thing. Like Brenda can, Bodwin! Can you make one using the uh, tag? Can you do a tag shaker? And, and so, yes, you can. Y'all got me addicted to these shakers, though. Stephanie Moore says, I needed sawdust once for my student's art project at Home Depot. It was all over the floor, but they didn't want to give it to me for free. I went teacher on them, and now I'm known as the crazy sawdust teacher. <laughs> uh, there she go. Just leave her it, alone. They just call you in and say, hey, when they see you, there's SD. Just throw a package out the door at her. Sawdust. Maybe she'll leave. <laughs> maybe she won't even come in. Thank you, Barbara. Barbara says our package should be here tomorrow. Barbara, you spoil us, okay? But she does. Barbara, we were talking about that. And someone else says something. Uh, what is that? Arabeth Figueroa says, I sent you some happy mail. We have some happy mail downstairs. We have not opened it. We've been trying to... Yeah, we've been trying to play catch up, y'all. Yeah. 
And yeah, we actually um, got another stamp set that's going into manufacturing and we got a bunch of stuff going on, y'all. <laughs> yep. Stephanie Moore is selling cannabis. She'll take him up on that when she buys a computer in the spring. Exactly. How Kenneth is just adding value, isn't he? Just adding value. Look at that. Hey, babe. Kenneth, here's the question. See if you know this. Right now, the, the router that I use, it's Xfinity. It does 1,000 gigs, of course. It periodic, Periodically, it drops. Yeah, it's been dropping on us a lot. Awesome. Yeah. A TV here, uh, uh, Android box there. Uh, you have to completely shut off and come back on. And then the person who's dropped off comes on, but maybe another TV drops off. Is it the Xfinity or do I actually need a stronger router than what they're offering me? Um, Can we call Kenneth on that one? Yes. Like when we get off? <laughs> Is that a question? There's I need no to need call to have everybody, everybody sitting in, you know? <laughs> If I need to call, I just say, Bill, call. Yeah, I got to go do another fruit salad, y'all. Hi, Leticia. Yeah, I had posted that fruit salad as motivation. You know, it was just a little kind of snack thing. So, yeah. <laughs> that part. Someone asked earlier, are we going to do an Easter stamp or an Easter kit. We'll see. I I don't know. Everything is so up in the air, you know? We'll see. <laughs> That's all I can say. I, I'm not sure. Okay, Kenneth just put up his information. It's the Instagram. Oh, the name of the plastic. Oh, I'll put, and I'll put this in the um, description after the live. Yeah, it's better... uh, it's an acrylic. Um, no, it's acetate. Twenty sheets. It's called. It's from Judykins is the brand, and it's embossable window plastic. But I'll go. put I'll put the link to where I got that. Kenneth says you can DM me on my Instagram at Mr. Skurlock. It's right there, y'all. Easter kit sounds awesome. It does. Here's my thing is that I want to be able to offer a stamp set with the Easter kit. That's where the, because the, the biggest, one of the, the most challenging, I'll just say the cha most challenging part of having a kit is actually, well, now there's several parts that have to come together. But the the biggest challenge is getting that um the stamp set. The stamp set manufactured. Yeah. Manufactured, come back to me, tested, goes in and then you're talking about maybe almost a month uh 4 to 6 weeks out as far as getting it back like the whole process takes a, a good while yeah yep. it does but the process does make sure that the final product is absolutely impeccable uh let's see you could put tiny holes in the shaker plastic and use fragrant bath beads for room freshener. Oh, so you can poke a hole in this. That's what you're saying. Poke a hole through that, and and make that. Uh, okay. Barbara says maybe print out digitals and put them in a kit. I couldn't do that because that would actually oh, go against my whew. angel policy. But well, you we we could do, we could actually do it from our stand because we're the creators. But, but actually, here's the thing: is that. That takes a lot of ink. If you have 500 kits, imagine yeah, well, it's a lot. Actually, what I would probably do is if I decide to go that route and I made, I would make both a, a digital as well as a photopolymer. I, I would put the photopolymer in there and also 
provide a link to the digital so you have access to both. No, but I was telling them that the, the photopolymer is the holdup. Right. We might not be able to put a photopolymer in there because of the time frame between, from the time we put the stamp set into production, the amount of stuff that goes on before we even get it into production, going through their art department, having it approved through their art, art department, and yeah. See what I but we'll see, we'll see. Is 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 also have uh, the digital included in the price of the kit, and you just have to download the digital. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, because then you leave a lot of people out who don't use digitals. Right. Yeah, there's where the... <laughs> well, we <laughs> but have it's to, good we to, to figure that one out. It's good to turn to, to talk this. We have out. to hammer that one out. There you go. So that's what it is. But there's always next year. I just want to get past this pandemic because it's becoming more and more difficult. Uh, yeah, it's more. It's becoming more and more difficult to kind of get through. You know, like basically. Uh, get supplies in. That's the hard part. Even simple thing is, look, even the simplest thing is putting a cap on something. Uh, on something. So the cap comes from somewhere else. The plastic bottle comes from somewhere else. So if that is held up, well, right? Well, it's the, the whole it's the whole supply chain. And you gotta find Getting the material so that, so that puts a pressure on the supplier to try to get the materials to fulfill our order because we don't order in small amounts we order in bulk hold on we actually when we were on the re-inker we were waiting on the cap for a good while and when they finally got the cap the person who made the label went out of business then we had to find another label person it's crazy <laughs> right so it's, <laughs> like, it's like you're on this game of chasing <laughs> Chase, chase, chase. Right. Tisha, so, Tisha Firsty Hoffman says, amazing and beautiful car tags, Tracy. Love them. Thank you. So that's that's where the um the challenges lie. So I'm gonna try to have a kit. Um Barbara, look, <laughs> when we're not on the live, it's a whole thing of calling to see can you supply me with 500 of whatever? And I need to guarantee that you can supply me with those because if I'm planning for 500 stamp sets to go into 500 kits and then you as the supplier of the paper can only get me 200 things of paper. So now it's and then you can only get me 100 ephemera. So now I'm stuck with not having a complete kit. You see what I'm saying? Like the last kit, y'all didn't know. Let me go ahead and be um transparent here i wanted to have some kind of gel pen in there for you so i ordered all of these gel pens for that valentine kit the gel pens never made it so i had to come up with something else in order to put in the kit so the gel pens went on back order so imagine if you have like 500 gel pens that are on back order but you wanted them for valentine never ordered but months now, in advance right so now that has Com, you know, didn't make it. So now, hey, I got to cancel that. I, I don't want the 500 on back order, you know? All right, they didn't make it, although the money made it. Right. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that part. But it's okay. I did my part. I we're, sent the money. It's okay. We're going to we're gonna work it out. Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Tisha, you are so welcome. Uh oh. Colorful dimensions. Yes, this is we've never been through anything like this. This pandemic, um, it's horrible, but guess what? We're gonna keep keep moving forward, y'all. That's what you do. You kind of do twists and turns, you find out what you can do versus what you can do, because there's always a can do when you have something that you can't do. Just remember that. There's always something that you can do. You're not completely powerless. So yeah, we have to come up with another solution and then we'll just go ahead and do that. 
Life happens, uh, yep. Yeah. All right, y'all. Uh, so um mindless crafting at midnight. I have to remind y'all that uh I actually have it written here. Mindless crafting at midnight, y'all. The countdown is on. Just as a sidebar here. Um February 19th, which is a Friday, 11.55 p.m. Eastern for Mindless Crafting at Midnight. You know what? Yes, babe. I'm looking. Barbara Lank asked a question about that particular software, LibreOffice. I'm looking it up, and it looks like you can... There's a version for Android and... In iOS. I'm going to write the name of it. It's called there. Here's the name. Deb, see, I have no idea what we're going to be working on for Mindless Crafting at Midnight. <laughs> I have no idea what we're going to be working on. I think I wrote down a couple of things. But I don't, I haven't like pinpointed, pin, pinpointed yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, and... Yes, y'all, take take some naps before that time, okay? So that y'all can be ready. <laughs> Hold on. I'm in, right now, I'm in my, my Play Store. You see this right here? I typed in LibreOffice. I haven't installed it, so I'll install it. It had 100 million downloads. Wow. Okay. So let's see what happens. Well, I won't go through the motions, but the yeah. bottom line is it's there, okay? It is. So, hey, there's an app. Yeah. And with one, and so go. you can go ahead and download that to your phone. And by the time we get on tomorrow, and LibreOffice, for the, we're gonna, those, for those of you that are so inclined, just go ahead and go to LibreOffice uh, online. Go, just type in LibreOffice, and when you get this get there, click on the link to go to the actual site and uh, download it to your system. It's very simple. You'll be able to tell what to do. It asks you what kind of operating system, whether you're using Windows or if you're using you know, the Mac or whatever. Just go ahead and pick whichever one, download it. Once you get it on your computer, you'll be ready for the live tomorrow. All right. Uh, someone asked about the metal tip, I think, for this. This metal tip is actually, and, and it has pins. It's like a little kit that, that's on um, uh, Amazon. I ordered a couple of these from Amazon. I think this is what you were talking about. I saw the question come by. I saw the question, but I didn't, I, I missed it. I think Stephanie asked. I think that's, does that answer your question, Stephanie? Honeybee stamping hive. She said, I see I missed the entire live. <laughs> oh, you've been lurking, huh? B and D crafts. B and D crafts said he's been lurking for a while. I'm sure we have a lot of lurkers on here, and that's fine too. Honeybee. You know what? Stephanie. I saw that video with the man who was had the cat filter on. <laughs> I, that was hilarious. He was in a Zoom meeting, and he had the cat filter on his thing. Bill, you, I saw that. We watched it yesterday. Exactly. He had the cat filter on, and it was so it was so adorable though. <laughs> hey y'all, one of those of you, but I, that Android thing, don't download it yet. Let me go ahead and look at it first to make sure before you download it. I just want to just say that first. So, because it looks like they want an investment of, of some sort, and I have to make sure it works before I tell you to download this. Exactly. He'll have an answer for you by tomorrow. Yes. So, we'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock Eastern for Bill's session on how to download and manipulate digital images. He's going to take you through the step-by-step, -step and you'll be able to ask questions live. So y'all are going to actually be able to see his computer screen and he'll walk you through it. So with that said, y'all take care.
Thanks for being such a blessing. Thanks for just being, okay? Exactly. Just and allowing being. us to be. Yes. To just be. We love y'all. Y'all take care. Bye! Hey, I'm the thumbs up guy person. Hey, guy, how you doing?